Hi, it's Patricia from the Southwest Yankee. What some middle-aged women will do. Everything's bigger in Texas. Birds, birds, birds. Light moment. So the man named the livestock, the birds of the year, and the wild animals. Genesis 2.20. So, I was riding through down here in the southwest. The, I refer to them as uh, an industrial park, but there's a lot of you know food industry going on there like there's an avocado plant there's a grain silo this is the one we're going to focus on so the grain silo is we're going to talk about massachusetts and new york's enemy <laughs> okay so it is the size of like a block of buildings in New York City. This thing is huge. So this is where the birds get their, you know, I guess their grain. So, you know, the ground is so hard because we don't get rain here. So I'm so happy they have something to eat. So I guess they're grainitarians. And so I went by, it's gonna be pictures, a couple pictures, because I have a view from the ones at eight and they're perching on the telephone lines because where I am, there's not a lot of trees, probably because it's more city-like, like if you get further out, you can catch some trees and a lot of, you know, my favorite vultures. <laughs> so I got a picture from the car. <laughs> My sons did the photos, um, you know, from the ground of how many birds are there. So, of course, I don't want the, you know, the coast, the northeast to be left out. So, I have pictures of birds being fed off the back of a boat. Seagulls. Because as I told you in the past videos of, you know, if you have food and you're in the right place, the seagulls you know watch out <laughs> so I don't want to hold back this photo montage here so we will move on to another video so remember to subscribe bye